Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we'll be well, say, premiering a new series on my channel called Girl Talk JA. So, I hope you like it. Some of my classmates just come through and give their thoughts on certain situations in life. So, Young Babylon, yo RS. Watch your numbers, yo. At the MP and Gizmo. Yes. Hi, I'm Crystal. Hey, my name is Tatiana. Hi, I am Shoshana for the moment. Alright, my name is Brad. My name is what I'm is. Alright, slut shaming. What do you think slut shaming is? I think slut shaming happens when a girl is trying to be, you know, herself and trying to be a bit more provocative than usual and he will make her feel bad about it. Um, slut shaming I think is when a girl she wants to have a lot of sex. It's nobody's business and people make it their business because she wants to have a lot of sex. And if you want to have a lot of sex, go no right way. ahead. <laughs> okay, slut shaming. I think slut shaming is when a girl wants to take like about 10 man and stuff and somebody that is taking 20 have a problem with that. Why? Because people always try to make people know even when they're not feeling better. Slut shaming is basically shaming a girl who decides to go around and the promise group like 10, 15 guys. How do you feel about slut shaming? I think it's unnecessary, I think it's unfair. Girls really have to go through that if the girl wants to do what she wants to do with the girl. Um, I really think it's bullshit because what somebody does with their private parts, i.e. the vagina in this case, is their business. Um, it's not a good thing, trust me, because I mean you want to do what you want to do. It's your body. Do what you want to do. If you want to take your ten man, if you want to... Sorry. <laughs> Why do I have guys opposing? Right? Why are you opposing? Why are you interrupting? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so it's, I mean, it's your body. If you want to have a 10 man, protect yourself, right? It never said slow down a little, but in the light of it, persons are not supposed to be bringing you down because that is who you are. That's who you are. I don't, I don't think it's, it's all easy to, to tell a girl not to be in her body, but at the same time, I don't necessarily. And is there ever a time where you would slut him? I would not. Girl, do your thing. Don't let people's opinions alter what you feel and what you want to do. Nah, I feel like as long as people are grown and protecting themselves, whatever they do in the bedroom, for how long, for how much they want for it. It's for their business as we said before. It's their business. Based on what I've said, obviously. <laughs> X text you that you want answer your back. There was a reason why I broke up, obviously. So I would think about that before I go run it back. Nothing. <laughs> because I don't, I don't walk back away. <laughs> I'm not a crap. <laughs> Before they do. But yeah, if, it, if my ex wants me back, I feel like that's their problem and they have to deal with that. And if I want them back, I have to deal with it too. And I don't think it's right for me to leave a relationship and jump back in it. Yeah. Look at it this way. It's called an ex. There's a reason why it is an ex. I can't go back there. Right. All right, so what advice would you give to a girl that her ex wants her back? It depends, you know. I mean, if she was a, a waste man, then I don't know why she would take it back. But if the love's still there, then she can try it again, see if it works. Good. I mean, it can, it can, it can go back to him still. There's nothing wrong with that. So would you ever take back an ex? No. 
You know, you give me the move forward. Well, we have to go back. That's not about it. So this is supposed to be the present, but present one. Present one. Well, I can't work. Yeah, it's very reasonable. We have to do it. It's that way now, so we have to work with that. Sorry. Alright, so first date. How do you prepare? How do I prepare? <laughs> Just make sure that I look my best. I'm not sweaty. I'm not too hungry because I don't want to look perfect. And I'm gonna get bits money. I bathe. <laughs> Make sure I'm gonna brush my teeth because my teeth are important. Um, I just try to psych up myself and try to learn as much about the person as I possibly can in that one sitting. Because I feel like first impressions are very lasting. So yeah. Um Put yourself together, find the finest clothes, looking sexy and all of that, and not make sure that you're hygienic. There, because you may want to talk. If you like the person, you just have to think, oh, you want to go and all and things that they want to make sure that you're ready there and you're, you know, so prepare yourself. So, there's no one to prepare for my friends out here. Um, I don't know, as, as, get a light on, share a word like, true. Fresh. Make sure you have your money. That's the most important thing. I'm not going to spend no money on me for the first date. Yeah. I like no money on me. For the first date, make sure if your mom wants baby powder, because bitches love baby powder. See, yeah. I have two hands, one in this pocket, one in this pocket over here. Make sure you say you have a lineup. You can't have one date with a lineup. See, Make sure you say put on your cologne. Don't put on a cheap cologne from downtown which you don't like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just you know, but you easy. Calm and you know, relax. And, and how far do you go on the first day? <laughs> well after say first base, second base, what are the bases? Oh okay. First base. It depends, it depends. Um who I'm going with. <coughs> but not very far. As far as I want to. Because I'm grown. How far it depends. If I like you, you can touch me on my neck, you can touch me on my shoulder, you can do whatever you want if I like you. But if not, you gotta keep your distance and it will be shown if I'm not interested in you. I <laughs> no, I mean you go on a date with person, they don't know who they are, but along the line you can feel certain things. If there's no connection, what you do? You can't sorry. What do you do when your male friend likes your female friend? Well, <laughs> if I like the male friend, I don't, I'm not going to say anything. Because it's especially I don't say that him like me, what's the point? Just let them go ahead and I'll just watch and eat popcorn from my room and cry. If I want them to be, you know, my thing, I would kind of be the woman with I would be the wing woman and you know help you know. Yeah. Push them on. I'm bad at it though. Um I'm not Cupid, I'm not Cupid, I'm meant in a good word, but at the same time I'm not Cupid, so as I said before, if you're grown, you want what you want, you go for it and leave me out of it. So if I like you, I'm not to take care of her at all, I'm going to keep that to myself, tell me something, tell her and I'll something there, but you can't, can't work, because if I like you, it's going to be uncomfortable. But if it's the case where we're just friends like that and you really like my friend, that's no problem. We try to set the link, you work from it. Do we have to do with that? Can't do no more. That's it. Mm -hmm. My male friend likes my female friend. Um, um set the link. Tell, tell her I say you like her. <laughs> what else is there to do? I mean, if she's, if she loves her boyfriend or this too. I'm going to set the link still, I'm going to want to select it. I'm going to select it, then you can get a 
think after that, after that, don't go whatever. They might be here, isn't it? So, I might think, then, no. Uh, All right, later. Yep. Alright, so I hope you like that. Don't be afraid to comment on any topic you'd like to see us talk about and just subscribe, share, like and do all other things there.